must realize that the climate change challenge faced by India is uh, unique uh, in the world. Uh, at this point in time, uh, we are the third largest contributor to the greenhouse gas emissions. And we are also one of the top 10 countries to be most impacted by climate change. Uh, in view of this twin challenge, our policies must respond to what is needed for the best possible outcome for us as a country, rather than what is the minimum expectation from us under the Paris Agreement. Our current NDC target is more in response to the international climate politics and therefore whether we are going to reach it in 2022 or 23 or whatever uh, is irrelevant. To help us mitigate our carbon emissions, we must make a big shift towards renewable energy in such a way that we start replacing current coal-fired power plants and current volume of petroleum fuel use with suitable renewable energy options. The set targets are nowhere near this. At the same time, we must ensure that there is adequate access to various energy services for the entire population. And this access infrastructure must sustain in the face of the variety of uh, climate change impacts that we are expecting. I don't need electricity, but I need the services that electricity provides, like lighting, cell phone charging, etc. 100% electrification across the country is meaningless if the current flowing through the wires is inadequate to serve the needs of half the population. I use the word access to energy services in this context. To my mind, uh, the only way we can achieve mitigation of carbon emissions while providing adequate energy services to all in the face of the climate change impacts is through distributed energy generation with a focus on energy service delivery. So every building rooftop, residential or commercial, should become a generator of electricity aligned with the service needs within the building. Every kitchen in a neighborhood should be able to fulfill its cooking energy needs from clean biofuels produced through neighborhood organic waste management. Private ownership of vehicles should become redundant and we should have a multi-model renewable energy powered mass transport system for both people and goods affordably accessible across the country. Basically, uh, we need to aim for a total transition of the energy system towards a decentralized renewable energy based and service delivery focused energy system. This approach will create a big market for innovative DRE applications and it will provide a big boost to DRE industries. India has the ecosystem of entrepreneurs and research establishments to make this happen. We need the policymakers to now think outside the box.